The Fisher Artificial Den Box Study is designed to test whether fishers will use wooden den boxes we put up in the forest. The reason we're doing this is because trees like this, this is a Fisher natural den tree, are now dead because of mountain pine beetle. They're starting to fall over and in the future the supply of den trees is likely to be limited. So we're putting the boxes up in areas we know fisher inhabit and then we're checking them to see if they're being used. We've designed our den boxes to mimic natural dens of fishers in BC. Fishers are the largest obligate cavity user we have in BC. So that means they always den inside a tree, a large uh, tree with a heart rot cavity, and we've designed our den boxes to mimic that. They've got a large internal cavity. They're about a meter tall by 40 centimeters on each side. We've designed the hole to mimic what natural female dens have. This hole is about three by four inches, five by 12 centimeters. And we think that females choose cavities with openings this size to exclude larger predators, including maybe larger males, which are about twice the size of a female. So far in the study, we've had one full year up until November of last year of data collection. We submitted 14 samples at that time, 11 were confirmed as Fisher, and out of that we uh, confirmed six individual females. This year with the addition of a chicken wing inside and uh, more video cameras, we've actually got 15 instances of Fisher entering the boxes, and out of that three Fisher actually spent 12 hours to seven hours in the boxes. This gives us great hope for this year. We've got lots of other samples where we didn't have cameras there, but we know the fisher went in the box, it left lots of hair, and it took the chicken wing. So the reproductive denning season is coming up in April, and we think uh, we've got a really good chance this year of getting a female using it for raising her kids.